There are so many options for kids scooters out there. So how do you know which scooters are best and which you should pass up? We've personally tested every scooter on this list. So we know for sure that each one is a solid quality option for your child. Which scooter you choose will depend on their age and athletic ability, as well as your budget. Number one, the Lascuta Kick Scooter, best bang for your buck. The Lascuta's Kick Scooter is very similar to the uber popular Razor A5 Lux, but in our opinion, it's actually a better scooter and it's cheaper. From the moment our testers hopped on the Lascuta, they were enamored. The ergonomically shaped rubber grips are soft on hands and help prevent hand fatigue. They're also more durable and easier to clean than typical foam grips. From a performance perspective, with larger wheels and tighter construction than the Razor A5, the Lascuta delivers a surprisingly quiet and smooth ride. So great price plus comfortable plus smooth ride plus lots of fun color options equals huge winner in our book. Number two, the Razor A5 Lux is the best classic Razor scooter. So Razor has been the most popular scooter brand for years. And while there are certainly better scooters out there, Razor offers dependable quality at a good price. Our favorite Razor scooter is the A5 Lux. Improving upon the ride quality of the smaller Razor scooters, it offers larger eight inch urethane wheels that make running into those pesky pebbles and sidewalk cracks a non-event. This lightweight scooter is geared toward kids ages eight and older and touts a weight capacity of 220 pounds. Number three, the Razor A2 is the best value. If you're looking for a smaller or more affordable Razor option, the timeless Razor A2 is the quintessential scooter design and offers a whole host of features while taking it easy on your wallet. The springless front wheel shock system adds enough cushion to smooth out small bumps and cracks in the pavement. Weighing in at just six pounds, it's light enough to be easily carried by young kids while still beloved by tweens and it even has a wheelie bar for simple tricks. Simply stated, the Razor A2 is sturdy, lightweight, portable, and affordable. With adjustable handlebars and a max weight capacity of 143 pounds, this scooter can grow with your child for many years. But with just two wheels, it's best for kids five and older. Number four, the Micro Mini Deluxe. This is the best scooter for toddlers and preschoolers. Micro scooters are the Volvo of the scooter market. While more expensive, their quality and Swiss precision design are seriously impressive. The Micro Kickboard Mini Deluxe is our favorite scooter for toddlers and preschoolers. It touts a winning combination of three wheels with an extra wide foot deck, all to make it as easy as possible for little ones to balance. The foot deck is constructed of reinforced flexible fiberglass, which absorbs impact from the ground and makes for a smooth and quiet ride. And with adjustable handlebars that allow young ones to grow with the scooter, while not cheap, the Mini is a worthy investment. Number five, the Micro Maxi Deluxe. This is the most unique ride. The Micro Kickboard Maxi is a larger version of the Mini we just talked about, best for kids about five to 12 years old. These kickboards are not the scooters you grew up with. With their lean to steer functionality, the Maxi and Mini Deluxe create a unique ride experience similar to that of a skateboard by allowing the rider to carve turns, but with the added security of T-bar handlebars for extra stability and a boost of confidence. It's a bit like surfing the sidewalk. And with that reinforced flexible fiberglass foot deck, it's one of the smoothest and quietest rides around. Number six, the Micro Sprite. It's the best traditional kick scooter. The Micro Sprite is a top quality Swiss kick scooter designed with sophisticated style and built for smooth, precise performance. While the Sprite is a traditional kick scooter, it's definitely a high-end version. It's solid, durable, and most importantly, a smooth ride. And it's best for kids eight and older. Our testers loved that they could ride so fast and didn't feel bumpy all over the sidewalk lines. When they did small jumps off the curb, the landing didn't hurt and it was easier to jump high. The scooter feels sturdy and fluid beneath you and doesn't have the clickety-clack joltiness that's very common in kick scooters like the Razor. Number seven, the Scooter 2-in-1. This is the best three-wheel scooter on a budget. If you love the idea of the Micro Mini or Maxi, but the price tag is out of your budget, the Lascuta 2-in-1 is a great alternative. With the same lean to steer functionality, the overall experience is pretty similar. So what's the real difference? The Lascuta's handlebars have four distinct height settings rather than the Micro's continuously adjustable T-bar. From a quality perspective, the Lascuta is pretty basic. 
It's not as easy to adjust the handlebar, doesn't have any grip on the foot deck, and the deck is plastic rather than reinforced fiberglass. All that said, our testers love riding the La Scuda and we consider it a great bang for your buck. Number eight, the Fusion Pro X3. This is the best entry-level trick scooter. If you've got a little daredevil that wants to try their skills at the skate park, the Fusion Pro X3 is your best option. Built with the beginning enthusiast in mind, this affordable scooter features a four inch wide concave deck, like a skateboard, making it easier to pull off cool tricks like tail whips and slides. Fusion's well-designed aluminum frame has a weight capacity of up to 220 pounds, making the scooter a fun choice for larger kids and even adults who want to have some fun at the skate park. You could spend significantly more money on a pro-level scooter with additional features, but this entry-level model can't be beat for the price. Number nine, the Fusion Pro Z250. This is the best entry-level trick scooter for older kids. An upgraded version of the Fusion X5, the Z250 has larger wheels that roll faster and smoother. Its wider deck and higher, wider handlebars will be a much better fit for older riders. Its graphics are also a bit more fancy, which can make all the difference for your tween. Number 10, the Razor E100 is the best standard electric scooter. If your child is begging for an electric scooter, the Razor E100 is the most solid place to start. The kickstart motor requires the rider to be moving at three miles per hour before the motor actually kicks in. This prevents jolting starts from zero miles per hour that can often throw a child or even adult right off the scooter. With two air tires, the ride is pretty smooth overall, and its limited top speed is great for young riders. When our testers raced their friends on traditional kick scooters for short distances, the electric scooter usually lost. And as a bonus, the Razor Power A2, which is a newer electric scooter and the best adjustable and foldable electric scooter. Kids' electric scooters have traditionally been super clunky, heavy, and a bit difficult to manage, honestly, like the Razor E100. Then along came the Razor Power A2. Lightweight and narrow, the Power A2 makes maneuvering an electric scooter so much easier for kids. It's even foldable, which makes it simpler to store or take along in the car. With adjustable height handlebars, it's also a better fit as your child grows. And as the cherry on top, the Razor Power A2 works like a regular kick scooter when the power runs out. For a full review of any of these scooters, check out our website, twowheelingtots.com.